Hello and welcome. This practice is designed to be focused around the region of the heart chakra, um, which is an energy center in yoga that is thought to reside at the center of the chest. Um, what that means physically is that we'll be mobilizing the structures of the ribs, the shoulders, the upper back, while energetically kind of tuning into this region and feeling and listening um, to what's here. So to begin, I would suggest lying down on the back. I'm going to stay seated just so I can guide you through this opening uh, breath work. Um, but you might be most comfortable on your back, either knees bent, feet flat to the floor, which is called constructive rest, or the legs stretched out straight. This is called Shavasana, corpse pose. You might have a cushion for underneath the knees. So please bring yourself into a comfortable reclined position of your choice. Closing your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Just relaxing the gaze if not. Letting your body settle in. Now, bring your attention to the front of the rib cage. And do you sense any movement in the front of the ribs as you breathe? And now shift your attention to the backs of the ribs. Any movement of breath here Now shift your attention to the sides of the ribs. And can you feel or maybe imagine that as you inhale, the sides of the ribs flare out, kind of like an accordion. And as you exhale, they compress back in toward the midline. Now, can you sense breath in all directions at once in the ribs, front, back, and the sides? And now bring your attention to rest right in the center of the chest, center of the rib cage, kind of nestled up right against the front of the spine. What's the movement of breath like here? What's the feeling tone here? even pick up a, a subtle vibration here, uh, the idea of a color. Maybe not. If not, no big deal. Just listen. So now we're going to start to augment that movement of ribs with the breath by using coordinated movement of the arms. So now I'm going to lie down and do this with you. If you have something underneath your head, 
I'd suggest moving it out of the way if you can. And also make sure you'll have some room to reach your arms overhead. So if you have a piece of furniture right there, scoot down a little bit so you're away from it. Now, we're going to bring the legs into the position we use for bridge pose. Dvi pada pitam is what we call it in Vinaya Yoga. So the heels are walked in until you feel like the shin bones, they're more or less perpendicular to the floor. Bring your arms in close to your sides. Try palms turned down. And then walk the fingers once down toward the feet so the shoulders come a little bit away from the ears. And now we're going to begin with a simple coordinated movement with the arms and the breath. And we're going to alternate arms starting with the right. So the next time you inhale, stretch the right arm straight up for the ceiling. And as you exhale, lower it back down to your side. Now the left, inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, lowering down. Keep going. Now, where you go from here depends on the range of motion in your shoulder. So you are welcome to stay like this. If your shoulders will have it, the next time you inhale, reach up for the ceiling, and then all the way overhead. Back of the hand towards the floor. It doesn't have to touch all the way down. Moving in that direction. So the inhale brings the arm all the way overhead now, and the exhale brings it back down to rest to your side. Keep going. Now, the next time an arm comes to rest at your side, let's try both arms. Inhaling, stretching both arms up for the ceiling and then up overhead. Exhaling, draw both arms back to your side. Continue like that. And now you may notice that the extension of the arms overhead helps to facilitate more movement in the rib cage on the inhale. So you can feel that expansion in all directions as you breathe in. Okay, next time your hands land, pause for a moment. We're going to be adding now some weight bearing in the low body, but if anything about this bothers your ankle, knee, hip joints, you can continue how we've been doing it with just the arms, no problem. Otherwise, we're gonna to start to add a lift. So you can watch one if you need to, or if you kinda of know where I'm heading, you can join me immediately. Now, as you inhale, push into your feet, lift your pelvis and stretch your arms overhead. And as you exhale, lower your spine, as you lower your arms. Inhaling, lift the pelvis into bridge, stretch the arms overhead, or for the ceiling if that's your choice. Exhaling, lower the spine as you lower the arms. That's great, keep going. and feel how we're continuing to increase the, the capacity in the rib cage, and therefore a, let's say, feeling of expansiveness in the lungs. Last time.
And now when your hands come to rest to your side, turn the palms up, let the arms slide a little away from you on the floor. Walk the feet a, a little ways away from your sitting bones and windshield wiper the knees. Both knees drop one way, both knees drop the other. And then eventually roll to one side. Please help yourself up. And we're going to head to all fours and some repetitions of a movement called Chakra Vakasa, which is gonna help us to keep moving breath through the spine. So I'd suggest, I like to do this with at least one blanket patting my knees, so you might like to do the same. Something about like yay on your mat. And then line your knees up so that the thigh bones can root straight down and line your wrists up so that the arm bones are extending straight down. Make your shoulder and hip joints feel neutral on your trunk. Draw the tailbone back and the crown of the head forward, so feel the spine very long. Take a nice, easy breath in. And as you exhale, round the low back, lower the elbows and head as you pull the hips back toward the heels. On the inhale, lead with the chest coming forward. Chest is stretching away from the belly. And as you exhale, hug the belly in, round the low back, lower the elbows and head as you pull the hips back. So on the inhale, you're opening the front spine, chest pulling away from the belly. And on the exhale, you're opening the back spine, especially the low back. A couple more, please. Now, the next time you find yourself in table pose, let's prepare for child's pose. So that's big toes together and knees out. Shift your hips just as far back as they'll go towards your heels. And then we're gonna rest the head down. And if the floor is too far away, then you stack your hands or your forearms. You make a little pillow and rest your forehead on that. And now feel sensation of breath in the low back, especially right around the sacrum area, flat bone at the base of the spine. If this is a pose that bothers your knees, it can always be done lying flat on your belly with your legs stretched out straight behind you. That would be a great alternative. Okay, nice and easy. Push yourself up and let's head up to seated on a chair, please. So bringing yourself up however you like. Getting your blanket off to the side, bringing your chair into the center of your situation. Please bring yourself into what we call seated mountain pose. So you're just a little bit away from the chair back. So you're sitting upright. The feet are walked forward enough that you feel a little bit of weight come into your feet, like you're on a tripod, foot, foot, seat. Place your hands somewhere on your thighs that allows the arms and shoulders to relax. Feel the spine sort of stacked and the crown of the head rising. Okay, so we're going to continue our exploration of coordinating arm movement with the breath, but now we're going to add Nyasa. Now Nyasa is Sanskrit referring to 
um, the act of placing the hands on the body in a, a sacred way, um, encouraging you know, kindness or attention or, or just energy to different places in the body. So this is what it will look like. Um, if you kind of know where I'm going, you can do this first one with me, or you can watch one and then join the next one as you're ready. Begin with your arms relaxed to your side. As you inhale, stretch the arms forward and overhead. It is fine to not go as high as I do. You can keep them at shoulder height. On the exhale, lower hand over hand over heart as you drop the head. As you inhale, reach back up. You can look up if it doesn't bother your neck. And as you exhale, float your arms back to your side. Let's try that again. Inhaling, reach up. Exhaling, draw your palms together over your heart as you drop the head. Inhaling, reach up, open the front of the throat. Exhaling, float the arms down. Pause, feel. So now we're going to add an element of sound. So in yoga, it is thought that there are particular sounds um, that activate the qualities of these energy centers, these chakras. So these sounds are referred to as seed syllables, and the seed syllable for the heart chakra is yam, Y-A-M. So you can try it with me now. Big breath in. Yam. We're going to place that sound right in the breath where we're bringing the hands together at the heart. So once again, you can do this first one with me or watch if you feel like you need to get oriented first. On the inhale, stretch your arms overhead. Yum with hands to the heart. Yum. Tuck the chin. Inhaling, reach up, look up. Exhaling, lower the arms to your side. Let's try that again. Inhaling, stretch up. Yum with hands to the heart. Yum. Inhaling, stretch up. Exhaling, release. Good, just place the backs of your hands on your thighs for a moment. Feel what you feel. Okay, so we're gonna add on to that. And that already is a perfectly legitimate variation of Warrior One, Virabhadrasana One. So the next place we're gonna go is add weight bearing. So if this bothers your hips, your knees, your ankles, your anything, come back here and do it here and you'll be fine. So if you would like, move your chair out of the way, although you could have it um, out in front of you, the chair back for a little bit of balance assistance. You could hold it the whole time or just know it's there. Um, otherwise, you're gonna be still facing forward on your mat. I'm just turning, I think a side view will be the most helpful here. Let me briefly demonstrate this and then we'll do it together. We'll find our, our stance together, but here's what we will add to the arm and mantra pattern that we've established. Now this will be the inhale, lunging into the front knee, on the exhale, we'll yum to the heart. Now stay in the bend in the front knee as you reach up. And then on that final exhale, we'll release. That's our pattern. We'll do that twice through to each side. So please begin in standing mountain pose. So look down in 
Standing mountain, we want the heels directly underneath the sitting bones. Please bring your hands to your hips. And we want to keep the feet hips distance apart in the posture. So step the right foot a little bit straight forward, a pretty hefty step back with the left foot, also straight forward, but then turn the toes out. Bend both the knees a little bit. Feel your feet and feel the ankle, knee, and hip joints in alignment, pointing the same way. Keep that. Straighten the legs, lift up just above the pubic bone, and turn the front of the spine forward. Relax your arms to your side. Here we go. Inhaling, lunge into the front knee. Stretch the arms forward and up. Yum with hands to the heart. Yum. Stay in the lunge. Stretch the arms up. Look up if you can. Exhaling, release, straighten the front knee as you lower your arms to your side. Let's try it again. Inhaling. This is warrior one. Yum with hands to the heart. Yum. Stay in the lunge. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, straighten the front knee as you lower the arms. Good, bring your hands to your hips, step your back foot forward, front foot back. You can stay facing forward on your mat, I'm just turning towards you as we pause for a moment. See if we can discern any difference between the sides as we've only done the one. Now I'll turn so you can see the other side as you bring your hands to your hips, please. Look down, we wanna keep the feet hips distance like this. As you step now the left foot straight forward and the right foot straight back, but then turn the toes out a little bit. Feel your feet, feel the ankles, knees and hips all facing in the same direction. And then straighten the legs, lift up above the pubic bone and turn the front spine straight forward. So you're looking out over the front leg. Here we go. Inhale, lunge into the front knee. Stretch the arms forward and up. Yum with hands to the heart. Yum. Tuck the chin. Inhaling, reach up, lift the chest. Exhaling, straighten the front knee as you lower the arms. Last time, inhaling. Virabhadrasana one. Yum. Inhaling, reach up. Exhaling, release. Well done. Back foot forward, front foot back. Um, just pause for a moment in standing mountain pose. Find your center, feel what's here. And let's get back to the seat, please. And we're going to close in seated mountain pose, back in that kind of tripod supported position. Feel your feet on the floor your sitting bones in the chair, your spine stacked on itself, shoulders relaxed, crown lifted. And now close your eyes, or if it's not comfortable for you, just relax your gaze. Now, how's the movement of breath throughout the whole rib cage? attention to that point at the center of the chest, nestled in front of the spine. What's the feeling tone like here now? It could 
that you imagine a, a vibration or an idea of a color. Maybe that's changed. Maybe not. Please rest hand over hand over heart. Please accept my gratitude um, for taking this time for self-care, um, for self-inquiry. Um, I hope it uh, leads to a good day for you. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. was a little further away than I thought.